So this is more of a, a quick hitter. I'm not sure if this will go out on a Tuesday or if it will go out on a, on a Friday. Thank you, Bailey. This is Bailey. Bailey, say hi to the world of YouTube. Hi. Yeah, that's Bailey being Bailey. One of the reasons we came down here, we originally came down to visit um, my wife, Kimmy, visit her, her dad. And one of the things that happened before we got down here was that he passed suddenly uh, through complications due to pulmonary fibrosis. And so I've been thinking a lot about um, our, our life and how we relate to one another. And so I think I'm gonna call this video, it's not good for man to be alone. So here's what I'm thinking. My wife, she grew up a Johnson, right? And I grew up a Mazaris. And then at some point we got together and we, we, we got married and now she's a Mazaris and we have a family of our own. But the thing that gets me about that is that we're not actually Mazaruses as my dad was a Mazaris. And we're not a Myers as my mom is a Myers. We're different. We have our own form. And when we're down here, we're visiting with her family. We're staying with a couple of her brothers. Uh, another brother flew down and her sister is already down here. And each of them expresses themselves differently. Even though they grew up in the same household, they grew up, they became very different people. And the, the different people who came into their lives helped make them different. One person is more organized than the other. Another person likes to live more in the moment. And these are all these things that come into our lives. And so as I'm, as I'm getting ready to go to a funeral tomorrow, I'm thinking about how important it is that we are together, that we come together and that we work together and let people influence our lives. And as a person who spent most of his life really being a homebody, liking to, to stay at home, not being around people, I'm really finding now that I really like to be around people. And I think it's part of me getting older, being middle-aged, is I'm realizing the influence that people can have on my life and how they can help make me be a better person. I direct, I'm a director of children's ministries at church along with my wife. We've been doing this for 10, 10 plus years and the church is going to be changed because of the, the way we do things. We had an impact on them and they had an impact on us. And same with our, uh, same with people who are in music ministry or people who decorate the church or the people who do the speaking. All these people have come together to make our church what it is. And we have affected each other in ways that we don't even really realize. And the church won't be the same and we won't be the same because of that. And that's a beautiful thing. I really like that. So my challenge to you is that as you're in this middle age period, I'm assuming if you're watching this, is try to get out of your comfort zone as far as people go and try to become part of the, the bigger conversation. Try to affect people and let other people affect you. Try not to spend so much time alone. I think it's important, I think it's invaluable, and I think it will give you a richer, fuller life. So looking at my, my video time here, I got about five minutes on here, so this should be about a three minute video, a little quick hitter. I appreciate you coming out and listening. We'll see you later, have a great week, bye.